Hi, it's Bill. I wanted to do a little update video for you. Um, I'm thinking it's been at least a few weeks since I did a video for you. Actually, uh, this is my fourth week of school, so that would be how long it's been. I'll get into that in a second, but um, as you can see, it's beautiful weather here in Pennsylvania. It's been uh, getting up into the low 80s here just about every day lately, and um, a little chilly at night. We've had a couple nights down in the 30s, but uh, some nights it's been in the 60s and I've left the windows open all night. And uh, as you can see, I'm sitting out back right now in the shade because it is quite warm today. And uh, usually I'll be sitting on my balcony there whenever I'm sitting outside talking to you. But the sun is getting low enough in the sky now here, now that it's... Uh, fall that it shines right in there this time of day which feels good some days but it's been a little bit too hot the last few days to sit out there in the middle of the day uh, so I moved back here where it's nice and peaceful in the shade and uh, just wanted to give you a quick update for anybody that was wondering what I've been up to um, as I mentioned before I'm doing uh, online school work I'm taking a online MBA, Master's in Business Administration and Business Analytics, so yeah, that's a mouthful. Say that five times quick. Um, so I'm taking four classes at the same time, and these are, this is my first time taking graduate level courses, so it's quite, it's been quite a lot of work. It's more than a full-time job, and as you all know, having Lyme disease itself is, can be a full-time job. It sure seems like it a lot of the times between you know, timing all your medications, your supplements, your uh, herbal, you know, whatever treatments you're doing. A lot of the uh, time it really seems like Lyme disease is just a full-time job in itself. So I got, <laughs> I got two full-time jobs at the same time right now, school and you know, treating my Lyme disease. Uh, and as I said before, it, you know, it worked out pretty good for me that I'm able to be at home, you know, taking classes from home and, uh, you know, and do it at my own, I don't know if you'd call it leisure, but at my own uh, timing, you know, depending on how I'm feeling. I still feel like I got run over by a truck in the mornings. So, you know, it's normally nine o'clock or so by the time I drag myself out of bed in the mornings and, uh, you know, get vitamins, supplements, some food in me. Uh, so you know how all that goes. You know how long that can take just to accomplish all that sometimes. In addition to regular, you know, cooking and cleaning and you know, laundry and different things, you got to keep up with. And it's just me. I live alone, so you know, it's I've been quite busy. So that's why I haven't been on uh, YouTube much. I've been Still trying to watch, you know, videos uh, when I have a chance, and haven't been commenting on people's videos as much as I normally do, and uh, so sorry for that. But uh, got to do what you got to do, and you know, this is what I'm doing right now. This course uh, they tell me is going to be about a 20, 21 month course to finish this uh, master's degree. So you know, it's going to be quite a while. It sounds like I'm going to be even going through summers. Uh, uh, we're still trying to work that out. I'm still trying to work out the whole, you know, financial side of things. And uh, so that's that. I wanted to just update you on all that. And then I also wanted to update you on just how I've been feeling and, and what's going on with me, you know, as far as Lyme disease and, uh, you know, co-infections and all that stuff. And uh, I don't know if I've ever completely explained what I'm doing in my protocol. I might have hinted, you know, and talked a little bit about antibiotics and herbs and, you know, different things. So I guess I'll just try to explain that quickly here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. That would take a whole video in itself at least. So I'm doing antibiotics and uh, I, right now I'm doing three at the same time. Uh, for a while there I was doing four and uh, you know, part of the reason for that is Lyme has different 
I guess you call them uh, morphological forms, I think is what they call them. Lime has a, you know, what we know as the spirochete form. That's the normal thing we think about when we think about Lyme disease, but it's ha it has uh, other forms. It has what's called an L form, uh, what's called a cell wall deficient form. You know, so there's the intracellular, and then there's the cell wall deficient, and then there's also what's called a cyst form. Uh, so when these things get hit by antibiotics or C, antibiotics in your system, they have a little bit of a, I guess you could call it a defense mechanism. They can roll up into a ball and turn into a sister. I think uh, what actually happens is sometimes they kind of grow these things along themselves and then if they uh, break up, they those little pieces actually have the DNA in those cysts that can turn into a whole new spirochete whenever the coast is clear and the, and the antibiotics go away. So you know, part of the reason for the, the multiple antibiotics is that and the other reason is I also have Bartonella you know that I'm treating so all these um, infections and, and different forms of these bugs require different antibiotics some of them kill the cell wall some of them don't some of them are what call, are called cyst busters and uh, so you know, a lot of people might go wow that's just nuts that's just crazy you know taking all those antibiotics but I just wanted to explain you know this is what I'm doing also I'll say this right here uh, don't go out and you know, do this on your own. I'm not a doctor. I, uh, you know, I'm an engineer. I like to research things and know why I'm doing them. You've probably seen that in a lot of my videos. I, I want to know what's going on and why I'm doing it, and you know, kind of have a plan. And uh, as you all know, plans sometimes don't work out with Lyme disease, but or take a lot longer than we think they're going to take. But uh, I just wanted to explain that, you know. Uh, obviously you can do your own research but uh, listen to your doctor and, and that's what I do I, I run all this stuff by my doctor we you know we bounce ideas off of each other and she might not be used to an engineer you know researching things and, and asking all these type of questions and I uh, just the way I am I don't blindly listen to you know what a doctor might tell me to do I obviously take that into consideration and I trust her more than what I know and uh, so anyhow I just want, thought I'd explain that why uh, that is what I'm doing and I'm also doing what's called the Booner Herbal Protocol I, uh, I think early on in my videos I explained that I also had Babesia and uh, that requires a whole other type of uh, medications and treatments because that's a uh, protozoan that's a red blood cell parasite that attacks your red blood cells and uh, you know, goes into them and attacks them and kills them and they break up and then the bugs distribute themselves and keep on doing it and that was part of the reason for a lot of the symptoms that I had before they're a malaria type organism and uh, you know I had the sweats and uh, you know it causes a lot of people to have anemia and a lot of shortness of breath because you know what do red blood cells do they transport oxygen through your system so it can cause lots of problems whenever they interfere with that. So I did the Booner protocol uh, along with Malarin which, which is a malaria medication, a and Proguanil and I did that for uh, several months I think and we pretty much think I beat that and I moved on to the Booner protocol for Bartonella which is a whole different set of herbs and then since then I've moved on and incorporated um, the uh, Bruner protocol for the uh, Borrelia Lyme disease. Sorry, I'm looking at butterflies and uh, they're pretty. We got monarchs coming through here. You know it's fall whenever that's happening. Uh, anyhow, where was I? Oh, Bruner protocol. So I'm still taking uh, what's called cryptolepis, which is one anti-malaria herb that I took for Babesia. I'm still kind of taking a little maintenance dose of that, uh, just you know, to be on the safe side that that wouldn't come back right away and relapse. Um, you know, my doctor's theory and mine is a lot of these things. When you, that's my stomach growling. Um, a lot of these things, when you feel better, you know, right away, you don't want to immediately stop. You might want to bracket that for however long, a month or two or more, you know, to make sure you don't relapse, make sure you've really taken care of it. 
Uh, so I moved on to the Bartonella herbs and the, uh, a lot of the Borrelia herbs and, and on different things, not just bug killers, but lots of different things. And I'll go into all that in another video that would take up an hour uh, or more. And uh, so what's going on is we did pretty much full-time treatment for a while there, for quite a while. And, uh, and then we, I started feeling a little bit better, you know, getting rid of a lot of these symptoms. So we thought, okay, let's back off on some of this stuff. And uh, what the Cowden Herbal Protocol does is uh, their theory is they do 12 and a half days on and one and a half days off, 36 hours off with um, antimicrobial stuff. And the theory is that uh, one other thing I might mention is a lot of these uh, bugs create biofilms. So they create, I don't know if you know what plaque is in your mouth, you know, it's, it's kind of like a biofilm. The bugs create colonies and hide in there. So they can hide in there and, and antibiotics can't reach them. And then uh, once the antibiotics are not in the system, they can come back out and you can relapse. And it can also just prevent you from, you know, from killing them off and, and improving. So, uh, you know, taking various herbs for that. But the, the idea with the Cowden protocol is the pulsing. Uh, once the uh, bugs see that there's no antibacterial, antimicrobial, antibiotics in your system, you know, the cysts can come back out, the, the bugs can come back out of hiding, or they can come out of the tissues and come back out and start wreaking havoc again. And they, they do that, and you give them a little time to do that, and then you, boom, you hit them again. And so that's what we did for, I don't know, two or three months. I did the 12 and a half days on and one and a half days off, and I've continued to improve. So we decided to back off even more um, and go to five days on and two days off. And I've been playing with that a little bit, you know, whether it's five and a half and one and a half or, you know, four and a half and two and a half. And, uh, you know, and the other part of this whole thing is detox that I've talked a lot about. And... Uh, I'm one of those people that has trouble detoxing, so I hurts real bad, and you know, it backs up. And I've explained that you know, in a couple other videos, I think. So I've been really, you know, talking to my doctor a lot about that and uh, what all I should be doing. She said, just continue on with what you're doing, just even more so, just do more and more detox stuff. And I find that the more I do, you know, the better I feel, and, and the more I can tolerate treatment, which is you know, really helping me uh, kill these bugs off, hopefully. So that's what I've been doing lately for the last uh, month or month and a half. I've been doing you know, basically five and two pulsing. And uh, I've been actually feeling pretty good. I had those, you know, those couple episodes that you saw, you know, in my last videos where I went camping and, you know, maybe was overdoing it a little bit. And also not detoxing and felt horrible and uh, since I've been home basically basically being a hermit doing uh, my schoolwork you know and doing this pulsing the way we're doing it I've been really feeling half decent here the last couple of weeks when I have gone back on I haven't hurt quite as bad as I normally do um, so you know I think it's working you know we're making some progress which is good Again, don't do what I'm doing, don't do what I say, you know, talk to your doctor and, you know, do what they say. Um, I'm just telling you what I'm doing and what what works for me. I know we, everybody wants to give that disclaimer, but I really do, don't want anybody to, uh, you know, just go off doing what I say. Um, so that's all I'll say about that. But if you want to know any more, you know, please contact me. You know, I want to know more, more about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And, uh, you know, don't hesitate to contact me. Or if you want me to talk about anything else in these videos, go ahead and ask, and I'll do my best to address it. So that's where I'm at. I just wanted to give you, you know, that quick update on how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. I, I you know, normally it takes me a day or two once I go back on treatment before I start noticing it, start herxing. And, uh, you know, once I keep doing my detox stuff and get through that, you know, that uh, week, it's like, okay, wow, you know, every week it seems like I 
feel like I'm making a little bit more improvement. Uh, my brain fog isn't what it was, thank God, because now you know I'm doing all this schoolwork. Um, I'm not really doing much as far as physical things because I'm so doggone busy with the schoolwork. But uh, actually, you know, it might be not a bad thing. It's given me a chance to to rest and distract myself from the stuff I can't do that I wish I could do. And, but I'm also not pushing myself, you know, to go try to do them, you know, which I, again, that was another thing I showed you that, you know, paid for it whenever I did that, you know, so it's interesting how, you know, things can work out and how we can learn things and, uh, you know, hopefully learn from each other, which I've learned a whole lot from a lot of you all out there. And uh, thank you very much for just all your, you know, support and, and, uh, encouragement you know and, and prayers and, and all that so so I think that's about all I can think of for my uh, update today it was not as quick as I thought it was going to be it took me a little bit of a time to explain all that so thanks for watching